This is the technical difficulties with playing Citation Needed. Joining me today, he reads books. You know, it's Chris Joel. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's favourite, Gary Brannan. Gary Brannan. <laughs> Let me get a light on you, p <laughs> <laughs> And standing in for Matt Gray, stand up mathematician, Matt Parker. Always clear all before an important calculation. In front of me, I've got an article from Wikipedia, and these folks can't see it. Every fact they get right is a point and a ding. And a special prize for particularly good answers, which is... And today we are talking about the Flip Flap Railway. I ah, ha, hoon, Is this... This is where the word no... If we had an actual railway tunnel, there's a big steam engine coming down the tunnel with the word no written on the front right now. You'll notice that sometimes I have my hand ready over the ding button here. This is not one of those times. Is it a pneumatic railway? In the south of England? Am I right? Am I wrong? I'm wrong. He's wrong. Both flipping and flapping are things railroads should not do. Yes. So this is some kind of disaster... No, it's, it's not a disaster. Oh. If you got on this railway expecting a normal ride, uh, something, something has gone wrong. Oh, so it's like a metaphorical railway. Whoa, I was going to go for like theme park or something, but I like that. Yeah. And, you, and you'd have got the point. What might the flip-flap railway be? It's a roller coaster. Yes, you're absolutely right. Is it, is it one of those scenic railway, the 19th century ones, where it would, rather than, you know, like a normal roller coaster now, you've got all the bits and bobs underneath exposed, you'd put big panels on and paint like an alpine scene. So from a distance, it would look like you were riding a train up and down mountains, and there's a guy at the back who acts as a brake man to, to, to stop the train. <laughs> the interesting thing about that is... No. <laughs> but you Can have say, but you have successfully you have successfully got several things later on that we were going to talk about without any question. So yes, absolutely. What were those really early roller coasters called? They were they, they were talking 17th century here. Pushing someone down a hill. Yeah. Yeah, they, they were giant slides. They, the they weren't called that, but they were giant slides and The first parts. ones were just park benches. Going down a sl there's one in, in France somewhere where literally it was a park bench and you kind of sat on it sideways and then it slid down a hill and it was terrifyingly dangerous. You see, the thing is now when we hear the phrase a park bench, we just think of Matt and Tom <laughs> sliding sideways down a hill on a very poorly fixed one. Yes, there was a, a gravity track in Paris in gravity 1812. Track. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and you said brakeman. This was before that. You, you also would have thought of stopping them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this Are was, you stuck on them forever? This yeah. Just falling and falling through eternity like Sisyphus pushing the rock. <laughs> Sorry, wrong meeting. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, no. Um, it, it, well, it wasn't falling through eternity no, forever. I'm really? getting sick of his negative attitude this episode. <laughs> Push up a hill, drop back down the hill. The okay. very early ones were called Russian mountains. I also just meant some Russian mountains. Uh, well, this is what they originally were. Russian sled rides on hills right. of ice that they'd, oh, they'd been see, constructed. So that's where the name came from. And so they were just... up until the point someone went to Russia and saw a mountain that had ice in it, nobody had had the idea of even sitting on a cart and riding down a steep hill. Not specially constructing an ice hill 200 feet tall to slide down. I'll grant you, that would be difficult in Norfolk. <laughs> 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 then you started getting the scenic railways. Now, you talked about brakemen. It's done with a guy at the back who acts as a brakeman and just puts the brakes on in the right place rather than any kind of retarding device that you might have on the wheels like you would now. Oh, brilliant. So if he decides to let it all hang out, you get a... <laughs> well, if he does that on that height, everyone's seeing it, let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the brake man is the opposite of a hype man. Yeah. Right, so instead of someone going, yeah, there's a guy going, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Go steady or I can make this dead boring for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're right, he is the fun killer of the roller coaster world, isn't uh, Not he? that too much fun. Yeah, there we no, are. everybody be calm. <laughs> there is also uh, something here in America that is an early roller coaster that is called the Morch Chunk Switchback Railway. I both trust and Utterly distrust that ride. <laughs> yeah, I got, yeah. I'm just trying to imagine, like, who thought the word chunk was a good word to put? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's the name of the place where it was. This was a nine-mile track. I don't know what it is, but we're going. <laughs> Smash cut Smash right now. <laughs> uh, is, it, is it just some old railway? It was one of the very first 
permanent railways in America. Is it like that bit in Indiana Jones 2? <laughs> go know, on, I, press I, it! I'm, <laughs> go on, I saw you go! Well, yeah, I, I did, because this is 1827, so what didn't they have for this railway? Power! Harrison yeah. Ford! <laughs> Just I mean, Lucas Chris, Lucas Chris film special effects. Yeah, they didn't have they didn't have that. So obviously, gravity they can get cars down. How do they get the cars back up? Gert big men shoving up. Uh, are you close? Whoever's on the ride next. <laughs> <laughs> you say ride. Uh, this uh, this to start off with was just genuinely a railway to move coal. So oh, people what, would someone would have managed to sneak onto that. Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, when, when there was downtime, people would just sneak onto it and ride the cars down. But how do they get the cars back up? I guess it's not a loaded car pulls down an empty car no, scenario. No, here. Levitation. Hosses. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. Mules. Yeah. But they would send down enough cars, and then they would send down the mules... In the car. In the car. In the car. Oh! oh sorry, yeah. They get fact, a yes, ride! I have a point. Uh, and oh, that's that probably is, not how they felt about it, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> yeah, but the first time they might be like, what the hell is all this? We all would be. But then they'd be like, fantastic. They'd be going down the little ears and be flapping in the oh, window a, like that. I, th I think you've chronically misunderstood what it is to be a mule, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bloke halfway down doing a drawing of it so they can buy it when they get to the bottom when they have a souvenir of their day. <laughs> There's always the smart mule who works out where the etching guy is so they can make a face. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, I reckon people saw the mules come off going, they look pretty excited. <laughs> I'm having a go on that. And then that, that is basically what happened. I mean, I don't think it was the mules there, but it was people going, this is, this is an exciting ride. Is that, that, this is fun wasted on mules, basically. And then someone else went, well, we can charge for this when there's not enough coal to move. Or mules to play with. Or, or <laughs> steady. <laughs> Lonely country town, let's say. <laughs> that was basically the world's first roller coaster. Someone sat on the back of one of the mules as it goes down. This is f***ing <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That is Indiana Jones. Just, yeah. just no, a century to Slim Pickens riding the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Strangelove with a mule in the compartment. <laughs> uh, sadly, that has now been dismantled. There is, there is a trail there you can walk down, but I imagine that's not the same. Ironically, a trail there you could ride a mule down. Which is yes. worse for all concerned, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, you could, or you could ride a mule down on a little wagon with some wheels. Oh my god, yeah. Wagon wheels. <laughs> <laughs> they're just going to go squishy. They don't, they'd overheat and get <laughs> flat spots, yeah. They're smaller than they used to be anyway. You can't trust a marshmallow bearing. <laughs> can't. <laughs> no. Just overheat at any yeah. decent speed. Jam lubricant's all well and good up to 50 mile an hour, but once you go over that... <laughs> yeah. You're looking for a stout marmalade, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Something fine cut, though. Oh, yeah, you don't want the bits You can't, it, yeah, you can't yeah. have a coarse shred, it'll get jammed. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Marmite is, the, is your, is your, uh, is your oh, breakfast lubricant yeah, of yeah, choice. But, yeah, but it burns up quickly. It does, and gives yeah. off quite the odour. And woe betide the man who uses Branston. <laughs> <laughs> for breakfast? <laughs> Matt, for God's sake, interrupt. You've been going like this for about two minutes. Yeah, but then I, keep, I go, okay, I think, they've, I think they've finished. Oh, no, there's more. Yes. <laughs> no, they've peaked now. No, they haven't. <laughs> uh, no, I was just going to say, I mean, but then I realised I was going to give actual advice saying use more teasers as bearings. I went, that's just Oh, yeah, yeah, you could have a race. You could have a race. I misunderstood this conversation. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. if you're actually going to do yeah, it. Set, yeah. yeah, more teasers in. Chocolate finger. Maltesers. What's yeah. the outer race, though? Oh, that's a good point. Donut! I'm just oh. to point out for, for anyone not in the UK that wagon wheels are a type of big chocolate round biscuit. <laughs> so, they look a bit like the wheel off a wagon. Yeah. <laughs> if your wagon were about yeah high. <laughs> no, no, it'd be smaller than that. Yeah high. There we go. <laughs> so, we had the Morch Chunk Switchback, which is arguably the first roller coaster. For we had, donkeys. We had the Russian yeah. Mountains, which could also be, you know, early roller coasters, that sort of thing. By the point that we had the flip-flap railway, there was this idea that you might want to get in a car that careened down a hill. What was the flip-flap railway adding to that? Flapping. Flipping. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't an early attempt to do like a loop-de-loop -loop or something. Spot on. Oh it was the God. first loop-de-loop -loop in America. And they got the shape wrong? <laughs> 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 Were they lured in by the easy appeal of a nice circle? Yes, they were. <laughs> Would you like to tell us some more about this? Ah, uh, they didn't think about having a nice consistent amount of acceleration on their passengers, and they bet they were either passing out or bleeding from the eyeballs by the time... <laughs> or both. 
They're not mutually exclusive. Those uh, poor donkeys. <laughs> so, you see, I thought it'd go too slow and all the donkeys, it'd get to the top and it'd stop and all the donkeys would fall out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's exactly where I was going next. <laughs> uh, no, because the problem is, right, the amount pushing you out as you're turning, I'm going to be very careful here or physics teachers will email me afterwards. Uh, <laughs> it depends on the rate at which you're curving. And so to stop people from falling out at the top, because the curvature of a circle is pretty consistent, by the time you get to the top, you've got to be going bloody fast to have enough force to keep you in your seat or the mule. <laughs> and so what you want to actually do is change the rate at which your loop is curving to give you extra force where required. And so you don't have to do it all with speed. You can do it with curvature instead. Whereas they tried to do it all with speed and it didn't end well. Yes, they, they tried. To, I've already given you biscuits for that, but I feel like a round of applause Oops. is required yeah, yeah. for that. For that. Uh, no, no further biscuits will ever be issued. That wins them yes. all, I think. <laughs> a, a circle is too big, so they're using, a, they're using an ellipse to get you over the top very quickly. How many G's were, were they roughly pulling on, on on this centrifugal railway, as it was I'm called? Have to, uh, I, I, anything above, where does it get painful? Like, it must be over four. four uh, I think modern roller coasters, you can briefly pull about five G's. Yes, yeah, so they all... were probably clipping seven or eight, and that's going to be very uncomfortable. Yes, it actually pulled 12 G's. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Yeah, it's not good. Not only is it a circular loop, it's only a 25-foot circular loop. <laughs> That's... What were some of the issues with riding this? Your hat would fly off and you would look ungentlemanly at the end. <laughs> quite the opposite, because if anything, your hat is going to be quite stuck ah, to your head at nah, this point. Nah, it, it came off on the, on the little hill down <laughs> into it, didn't it? I uh, know discomfort and neck injuries from whiplash. I wouldn't put discomfort first in that list. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> discomfort and now I like this. Yeah. Uh, what do they test this with, by the way? This is at Sea Lion Park at Coney Island. New sea, lions. sea lions. <laughs> no. <laughs> Seals. Irons. <laughs> uh, okay, not donkeys, not people, not sea lions. Sh uh, another like uh, and other livestock. Uh, monkeys, of course. Sandbags monkeys. and monkeys uh, were, were put down. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Sorry, sandbag, sandbag. Should we throw some monkeys in? While <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> They'll enjoy it. The donkeys did. <laughs> Sea Lion Park uh, became Luna Park, ah. as say famous names and all that. Uh, but Flip Flap Railway was not retained. Why not? <laughs> was it killing people? For <laughs> I mean, it, it, because of its unpopularity and reputation. But I, I will give you the point. Yeah. It, it was it was not something you got on a second time, <laughs> <laughs> for one reason or another. No one got to the end and went again. You know. <laughs> But there is one last legendary theme park I want to talk about. Is it Flamingo Landing? <laughs> no, it is Action Park in New Jersey. Oh, God, this is ringing bells and I have absolutely no idea why. Oh! It, <laughs> well, why, why might it be legendary? For, for folks who were kids in the it, 1980s in New Jersey. Because it killed a million billion people in their wave pool or something. It hurt uh, a lot of people, certainly. Oh. Uh, I, will, I will give you the point for it. It was... So hang on, wait. Your guess was it killed a million billion people. Yeah. And you're like, close enough to a few people got a bit injured. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like we... The air bars are pretty, pretty yeah. big on the this show. Right? massive <laughs> on this show. This show. Like, like, feel free to chuck some ideas and... And the reason I mention this in particular, to do with all the other things we've talked about, is that they had the cannonball loop. Uh-oh. <laughs> Which is very similar to a few of the things we've talked about, with one important difference. In a, in a summer park, in a theme park, what did they have that was a loop-the-loop? -loop? They attempted a water-based loop-to-loop. Yes, oh. they did. It was at their water park. How do you do that? Isn't the water just going to fall off at the top? <laughs> yes. And be a shower? <laughs> <laughs> So the thing about water is it follows the laws of physics. <laughs> uh, yes, you are absolutely right. It was a looping water slide. And not the modern kind. Like, there are, there are a couple of modern looping water slides that do an interesting kind of curve that technically takes yeah. you over. This was... Whoosh, circle. That, was, that would take off your, your clothes, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, the thing about what, clothes... really seductive as you go through the loop, isn't it? No, but I thought... Is uh, that so you've come to join me in the loop. Uh, <laughs> how about we get you out of those weird things? <laughs> it would certainly... Having had a couple of water slide incidents, shall we say, 
moments of unpleasantness. No, it doesn't take your clothes off. Riders were weighed and hosed down with cold water. What? And then instructed how to position their bodies to complete the ride. No, I, I, I'm already not getting on this. <laughs> You just want an excuse to pose, let's be honest here. But you get on the top of the ride and some before even you get on the ride, you're at water park. You're hoping, I assume, to drop into nice warm bath like water at the end. The last thing you want is some bloke with a little, you know, with a hose pipe with a little spray gun on the end going, right, arms up. They sent some test dummies down first. What were the reports on what happened to them? They didn't come down in one, is what uh, I was Yes, that's guess. absolutely right. They were dismembered <laughs> on the way down. Um, <laughs> And one person, uh, one unfortunate person, at uh, the top of the loop, uh, what happened? Their clothes fell off. <laughs> Trousers caught on a nail, just hanging there in space, getting showered on. It was a closed loop. They, uh, it was a closed oh, loop. Oh, they're, they're, they're in a locked... Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is the first one you've described where I'm still thinking, I want to go on this. <laughs> they got stuck at the top, and they had to add a hatch at one point to remove people who got stuck at the top and didn't want to go down the other side. Oh, yeah, because... Yeah, because you're on this surface now, and as you go down, you're going to have that sheer drop. Yes. Oh, yeah, you should shunk, clunk, dunk, carry on. Yes, there had to be extractions, as it put here, which, oh. is, which is not great. So this person get physically stuck as in they were too large? No, they just weren't Wink. going fast enough. Oh, my God. Uh, employees uh, were offered $100 to test it, uh, and I'm going to quote... A hundred bucks did not buy enough booze to drown out that memory. <laughs> I'm, I'm with Matt. I want to go on this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At the end of the show, congratulations. Matt, you win this week. Congratulations. Uh, you win a brand new armoured fighting vehicle that is actually an old fighting vehicle, just rebooted to look modern. Say J.J. Abrams tank. Oh. oh! So with that, we say thank you to Chris Joel, <laughs> to Gary Brannan, and to Matt Parker. I've been Tom Scott, and we'll see you next time. Ooh.